you doing, Hi. guys? We're back at Disneyland yes. again, Janelle. I'm yes. So excited. Today, we're going to try some delicious Valentine's Day <laughs> foods. And let me tell you guys, they have a lot. They have oh a lot. So, my tummy's ready. I'm sure your tummy's ready. And is your oh, tummy ready? Oh, yeah. I'm ready, Janelle. <laughs> so, why don't you guys join us today on, on this, this wonderful, wonderful world, world of food? food. Here we go. Have you guys saw our last video when we were here for Sweethearts Night? They had a lot of Valentine's food, but yes. this time, they just have way more that was like nothing compared know, to what they have they're now like oh you thought we had a little something no let me give you a little more oh yeah we got a lot <laughs> more so first we're gonna head over to adventureland yes let's go man i'm always afraid of these like curbs because i feel like i'm gonna fall oh and then right here too wow on the track you know i'm always know, afraid of it i'm always like looking out for these little tracks i'm like please right please don't be not today it's always on these tracks I think everyone has at least slipped on these tracks once. If you have, let me know Even in the comments once below. You do it, once you do it, like you're good for the whole year. You yeah, know? <laughs> you gotta get one in, I guess. <laughs> there it is, guys. The Valentine Swirl. And it's a watermelon and cherry Dole Whip Swirl. Look at that, it's so pretty. Can't wait to try it for myself. All right, there it is, the Valentine oh, Swirl. Look at that. It looks like very 2000s, doesn't it? Like what do you mean? Like, it reminds me of like Lizzie McGuire. Cause like the butterfly, they're like butterfly clips. Oh yeah? Oh, yeah, right. I would wear those in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the Valentine's Day swirl. Look how delicious that looks. It looks really melty, but that's cause it's really hot. You know, hot and dull whips don't match, but look how cute and gorgeous it is. Yeah, that's Delicious nice. sprinkles. So it's watermelon and cherry. And it had a little gummy on top, but it fell off. It fell off when I was melting. walking, but it's fine. <laughs> It said not for you today. The, this is the main character. It's the Dole Whip itself, right? Yeah. Here we go. It's like a Starburst. Yeah? Yeah. You can definitely taste the cherry, a little bit of the watermelon, but it tastes like a Starburst. And look at those Jolly little, Rancher. little like hearts. Is that hearts? Yeah. 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 This is really good. You have to try it. I really, really like it, especially on this nice little warm day. It's so nice and refreshing. I love the cherry, I love the watermelon. Literally, it tastes just like a Starburst and Jolly Matcher infused. It's delicious, it's scrumptious. You don't want to miss out on this one, guys. Yummy. Come and get it. How are you enjoying the Dole Whip? <laughs> it's good. It's good. You already finished it's, it's, it. What do you mean? It's overly sweet, but it does have a nice <laughs> taste of like cherry. Like, it's very tart. Mm. Very yes. sweet. Kind of reminds me like of a, a strawberry Laffy Taffy. Like it's, I don't know about it, that. No? <laughs> it to me, it tastes like a Starburst and Jolly Rancher yeah, Jolly melted Rancher. together. Yeah. And that created, and that happened. You yes. know what I mean? I, I can see that. But now, this leads me to a question. If you were to create a Dole Whip, what flavors would it be? Leave us, mm. leave it in the comments below because I, my mind would be pomegranate. Pomegranate does sound what pretty good. What would yours be? I don't know. There's already watermelon, which I like. There's mango already. I don't know. Maybe like a... Uh, Man, that's a good one. Oh, I know which one. Mm. I know which, which one. Which one? Like a lime one. Don't they have lime? I don't think they, have, think lime. they have lime. They don't have lime. I could be wrong, so don't quote me. I don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> I think all the great know. flavors they already have. <laughs> no. Pomegranate. Let us know in the one. comments below, you guys. We're struggling <laughs> over here. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> Next food is at the Red Rose Tavern. Let's go! The Red Rose Tavern. You guys, look at this. How cute. That is this, a beautiful yeah, I one. I know. It's so cute. Now, this is from the Red Rose Tavern, and it's called the Gorgeous Gray Stuff. It has pretty sprinkles, almost like the one in uh, the, the Dole Whip. Here we go. I'm just going to do it. You know how to do it. The, the Magic, Magic Journey's, Journey's way. way. Yes, I brought <laughs> extra napkins this time, just in case. There you go. Here we go. <laughs> it does still have the uh, red what is it? velvet. Red velvet, right? In my mouth, this is my face dirty. Oh, yeah. That's the way I like it. <laughs> you know it's good yeah. when you're messy. <laughs> Absolutely. There's, oh, there's raspberry. What? Yeah, look, you see it? It's speaking oh, out. Yeah. It's mine. Eh. Ooh, I love it. I like that there's raspberry in there. It kind of balances out that sweetness from the red velvet cake and the gray stuff. It's really tart, but also at the same time, very sweet. I love it. It's nice and it's really, really cute. So you don't want to miss out on this one, especially on those Instagram pictures. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yum. <laughs> It is a very busy day today here at Disneyland. So right now you're feeling the hustle and bustle of Disney. This is what it's supposed to feel like. 
There's a lot of energy in the air, and let me tell you, a lot of happy faces around. There goes the Mark Twain Riverboat. Always such a gorgeous thing to see, especially during golden hour. It's just the most beautiful cinematic thing I've ever seen. And I try to look for things that look a little bit more cinematic, and uh, I don't know, just the Mark Twain Riverboat right next to the sun, especially when it's gleaming like this. It's amazing. Look at the duckies. Water ride, it's a water ride. They're going, ah! <laughs> what is happening? It's the duck raft. You know they were having fun doing that. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for spring with the little babies. Right, this strawberry mint julep. One of my faves. Please don't disappoint me. We'll see. Let's check it out. Come on, you guys. This is what I'm excited for. Now, if you come and try the mint julep at the mint julep bar, you'll be very surprised at how refreshing and how delicious it is. But this is a strawberry mint julep, which actually brings up the sweetness a little bit. You get a little bit of strawberry taste. And let me tell you guys, it's refreshing. Ooh, I love it so much, guys. If you're over at the uh, French market, get yourself the strawberry mint julep you will not be disappointed and if you're at the french market no not the french market the cafe orleans check out the beignets because they are fluffy and tasty hey don't finish up my strawberry julep <laughs> oh, whoa, look at that backpack it's making me hungry yeah it's pretty cool i love it it's exclusive to lounge life right now so if you want to get it it's on loungefly.com so there's a nice little lounge fly that has, look at this. It's a it's a cupcake. cupcake. It's a little cherry on top. It's literally made for a foodie, just like me. <laughs> All right, little green alien, we're about to try your pizza. I'm really excited for it. I hope it's good. I think it's gonna be good. He's like. I'm all over. Okay, that's a really bad impression. Don't come for me, you guys. What was that? I don't know. Don't come for me. Oh, our food's ready. Let's go. So we did the whole mobile order thing, yeah, and we we're did. about to pick up a tasty pizza and a pasta. We got our pizza. We got our pasta. You hear that, little guys? This looks pretty interesting. I'm not the biggest fan of the pizza port uh, or pizza planet, should I say, uh, pizza, but uh, this actually looks pretty good. And lately, I'm gonna I'm gonna give. Pizza Planet this. They've really been stepping up the game because last time we were here, they had a New York pizza that was incredible. And I'm hoping this is good because the crust looks a little different. It doesn't look like the same crust they use on all their pizzas. So I'm really hoping this is a specialty pizza, like a good one, but they need to update that menu. I really think so here at the Pizza Port. It's, it's time. All right, there we go. The Capicola really makes this pizza. Okay, so. I'm, not, I'm still not the biggest fan of the dough, but it is very earthy, savory from the capicola. And then that chicken is very tender, so that's really good. And then the cheeses are also nice. This is a pretty good pizza all around. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the chicken fusilli pasta, but in pizza form. So that, <laughs> that kind of blows me away. If you guys want to try it, I do suggest you do come over to the Pizza Planet and have it for yourself because it's... Pretty good. So I have the tomato cream pasta with the Italian sausage, bell pepper, and you have some cheese on top. You also have some tossed chef's choice pasta, which is really, really nice, and blush sauce. It looks really tasty. It does. Okay, here we go. <laughs> trying to get, I love the tomatoes on there, the little cherry tomatoes. They're very pretty. Yes. Ooh. I love how much cheese they give you. Okay, say all you want about the pizza here. But the pasta is where it's at. Right? The I don't pasta know what it is, place. but like uh -huh. the, every pasta they make, either their specialty or the, the ones that they have all year long, it's like made perfectly. Like, don't change the recipe. Because what if you do, you don't wanna hear me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't wanna hear me. They should call it the pasta planet because that's what this place Literally, really excels it's at. It's so delicious. Oh, yeah. I love the earthy taste on this pasta. The cherry tomatoes is what makes the whole dish, just because it's. It, they burst right in your mouth and it's really fresh. The Italian sausage is very flavorful. The sauce sticks more with this type of pasta, which is really nice. A robust dish you don't want to miss out, you guys. 
All right, so there's two new Valentine's treats here at Galactic Grill, and there's also a magic key treat that we want to try. I'm excited. Yeah, we got to check it out. I have some Whoa! Look at that. Who made that? I, I did. I did. Wow. wow. We got an artist over here. Look at this. That is awesome. You did a great job. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. They're, art, they're artists over here. I know, I right? Wow. <laughs> Now this is the Magic Key Slush. Look how pretty this looks. It's so intergalactic and inside there's a little glow cube. I don't want to drink it because it's so pretty, but I'm going to have to. Who cares? I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> and right over here, we have the Galactic Sunrise Slush. Now this is strawberry and lemon slush. And inside, as you can see guys, there's little strawberries inside. Look at that. And a glow cube as well. I'm gonna go crazy today and I'm gonna drink both oh of these goodness. at the same time. And I'm gonna let you know, rice. yeah, I'm gonna let you know which one's better for you guys to try. So let's do the strawberry slush first. Here we go. They give you a big straw so you can suck in those strawberries. Oh. Oh, hope I don't, hope I don't <laughs> choke like those beignets. All right. If you like strawberries, you're no. definitely gonna, yeah, you're gonna love this <laughs> because it has a really deep taste of strawberries. It's very sweet. It's almost like you're drinking strawberry syrup. <laughs> That's what it's like. It's I mean, really you good. You gotta take the top too. I think you just had syrup. I, I think I gotta mix it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I think that's what it was. I just had nothing but syrup. It's, it's like, like I opened up a swirl. <laughs> it's like I opened up some uh, strawberry hole. jam and I just <laughs> downed it. All right, let's try it again. Oh yeah, it's more balanced out now. But let me tell you, that is delightful. This is very good. Again, if you like strawberries, you're gonna love that. Now let's try this guy here. Here we go. All right. So pretty. I know, it's so nice. Here we go. Oh, oh no. I got brain freeze. <laughs> oh, it tasted bad. No, it's good, but hold on. <laughs> I feel like that movie Dumb and Dumber Er when they're drinking the, the Slurpee and they're like, Ugh. and they're like, just keep drinking it, drink it more and it'll go away. All right, so I'm gonna tell you this right now. This is good, but it's gonna be more like a 7-Eleven good. It's, it's very, syrupy and it's a lot more syrupy than this like i said it's good but it's more like blueberry it's raspberry very sweet i like it and if you're into that cool get it but honestly this one this is the one it's out of this world i like it and i'm definitely gonna get it again i like this one my favorite right you know what it needs though what i mean it's already good by itself but it too, you want to ump it up i feel like some whipped cream oh. and some strawberry syrup on top strawberry syrup right? oh yeah that would have made it really pretty. And maybe like a little strawberry like little sticking strawberry. out at the top. Yep. I don't know. That would have taken it to a whole nother level. Whole nother level. <laughs> now by the way, if you guys really enjoy these videos and you really like them, leave us a like. It really helps out our videos and we want to keep making more. So leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed and you want to see more Disney food videos, don't forget to subscribe. I'm excited for this one. This is a spicy Nash chicken sandwich. Ooh. It looks delicious. Look at that. The presentation, eh, you know, could, could be better, but let's see if it tastes good. Here we go. Ooh, that's a spicy one. Okay, guys, so when you take that bite, you get that instant heat, but once you chew it and it's inside your mouth, it gets more intense. I can taste the barbecue flavoring, the pickles, the sweetness of the barbecue, because it doesn't have a lot of, like, you can taste barbecue, but it's more of the heat. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, the, yeah. Ooh. From one to 10, what do you think? I yeah, would on say, the heat scale. On the heat scale, 10 being really, really hot, I would say an eight. An eight? An eight. Oh. And, I mean, if you're into spicy foods, this is your jam. This might be your jam. You go on and pop off. There you go, Janelle. This it's will make you feel better. You're gonna have this uh, one? <laughs> I don't want that. I want this one. Hey! Mm. That's my favorite. That makes it so much better. Oh my gosh. But the chicken is nice and tender. I love the bun. The bun adds a little bit of sweetness to it too. I love the pickle. Um, what's it called? The, the pickle? The pickled pickles. <laughs> <laughs> the spicy is getting into my head now. I'm trying to think of that, like, how to say this, but it, it's so spicy to hey, me. Hey, well, you're real brave for taking that one. I know. So I'm like struggling over here, but I apologize. It's delicious. I really enjoy it. But will I get it again for myself? Probably not, because I'm not into like really spicy things, but I can see how people would love this. So if you're into spicy things, get yourself this, because I don't think we'll be disappointed at all. <laughs> all right, so right now we're going to head over to Downtown Disney. Look at all those Autopia cars. There they go. <laughs> we're going to head over to Downtown Disney, yes. because they also have some more Valentine's Day foods. Let's go. Let's go.
on the monorail. Good to see you. Ready to hop on? So they had some delicious food inside of Disneyland, but right now if you come over to Downtown Disney, they also have some Valentine's foods, but they're also celebrating soulfully out here. Yeah, yeah. Celebrate Soulfully is a showcase of experiences that celebrate black heritage and its culture with music and art. And we saw, oh, and food. Oh yeah, Marcella's art We saw Marcella's art piece. So beautiful, It you guys. was beautiful. And if you guys want to go check it out for yourself, come over to Downtown Disney. And they also have art pieces right on these walls here yes, that you guys can see I also. I think they're like doing something over there, but I love the art she made. And she's here all month long. Yeah. So I'm excited. And it's a great way to celebrate Black History Month. It's very colorful, very That's pretty, so huh? so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, so beautiful. Yeah, everyone's got a little spark, right? Yeah, spark. <laughs> right now for Celebrate Soulfully, they only have food at one restaurant and it's the Jazz Kitchen and they're gonna have a barbecue shrimp and grits and it's too bad we don't have reservations. I, I really know. wanna go and that try those. so delicious. I know, right? Maybe next time we'll get some and we'll try them out. Ooh, I'm down. Oh, cause that sounds <laughs> so good. <laughs> Marceline's. I believe there's some delicious Valentine's Day foods that you can get. So let's go ahead and check them out. They got these cute Be Mine caramel apples. Look at the little bee. How cute. We got these Be Mine Rice Krispie treats. We have the marshmallow ones. Those are so delicious. One of my favorites. And then you have these cute chocolate covered strawberries with milk chocolate or dark chocolate. So cute and so delicious. Yay! Janelle saw the Valentine's Day cookies here at the Grand Californian Hotel. Freaking out, you guys. I oh swear to you, my when gosh. I see a delicious treat, I gotta take my video. You know how it is. I got a little Mickey Heart cookie. I'm so happy. It's been a while since we came to the Craftsman Grill, huh? Yeah, it's been a while, so I'm glad we're here. They're gonna have some live music coming up. And then, of course, That's we exciting. also got three new drinks that are here for Valentine's Day. Yes. Oh my gosh. So, get away. Oh. <laughs> wow. This is so pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Look at Ooh. this. That is really pretty. <laughs> Alright guys, so I got myself the Love's Lantern. Look how pretty and glowy that looks. It's so cute and very romantic, but I just add. It's so cute. Now this has sky citrus vodka, has lime, and it's garnished with edible flowers and a glow cube. Here you go, cheers. Oh, that's so sweet. It's like a citrus delight. A little bit, you can taste a little bit of alcohol, but not too much. It's more of like a floral vodka deliciousness. It's very light. I like it, and it's so cute. Just walk, just relaxing here. But yeah, if you're looking for something fun, get yourself this Love's Lantern. All right, so this is the California Crush. Now this is made with Crown Royale, apple whiskey, strawberry puree, lemon, and agave. And let me tell ya, it's a really pretty drink. So let's try this out. Let's see how good this is. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I do get a nice little taste of lemon. The strawberry comes in after, it kind of mingles in, you know, right here. Very sweet drink, it's actually pretty nice. It's not too strong, it is very subtle, and it's well balanced. I love this drink, and if you love strawberries, it's like a theme today, you're gonna love this drink. I might sell the tuxedo strawberry with Bacardi raspberry rum, dark chocolate cream with cacao, you have half and half, and you have strawberry puree. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Cheers. It's like a strawberry shake, yeah. but for adults. <laughs> it's so delicious and creamy. You can taste definitely the, the fresh strawberry puree. And that raspberry, I don't know if they had raspberry rum. The more you know, it's so delicious. I like it, they all paired well together, which is funny because my favorite chocolate is a dark chocolate truffle. And this reminds me of the dark chocolate truffle, but with strawberries. Ooh. So if you're into that, get yourself this because you will not be disappointed. Cheers.
feel like we should end the night right. With some dulce de leche pretzel? Oh my gosh, you read my Oh head. my goodness. Let's do it. Let's go get it here at the Wetzel Pretzel. A chocolate of love pretzel, guys. Doesn't that look crazy good? Oh my goodness. This is the mango drink, guys. Look at how pretty that looks. Pretty good, and you can get it here at Wetzel's Pretzel. Wetzel Pretzel. <laughs> so right now we're waiting for our pretzels to come out hot and fresh. But I got myself this new mango. It's called the Mango Nificent Boba Drink. So it's frozen lemonade with mango bobas right on top. Ooh. It looks really pretty. Right? So I'm like, I need to try this. And this is a new drink you yeah, can get here at Wetzel Pretzel. Not only is it like popping boba, but like little chunks of mango. Yeah? Yes. All right. This is so sweet. So I say 100%, I recommend this. This is delicious, it's refreshing. It's nice to keep you nice and cool. It's sweet, you definitely taste the mango. It's such a fun drink too. So if you're at Wetzel Pretzel or Downtown Disney, get yourself this, it's really delicious. All right. Look at this, guys. They packaged it so nicely. Yeah, and right? The fireworks Ooh, are going the off, you fireworks. guys. It's Sweetheart's Night tonight, so yeah. Those are probably the fireworks for that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Mmm, the cinnamon pretzel. I think that's like peanut like caramel Guys, and chocolate. I, can smell I don't know yet. The I cinnamon it. from here. It's a cinnamon overload. I've been excited all day. If you guys want to get something delicious and sweet, come over to Wetzel's Pretzels because look at it's huge. Wait, look at this. Oh, your face. <laughs> that thing is. Jumongo, oh my yep. gosh. Wow. And it smells so good. It's called the chocolate pretzel. So let's try it. This thing looks amazing. Now, this is a cinnamon pretzel with dulce de leche and chocolate on top, chocolate syrup. Wow. I don't even know where to start. We're going to have to do this the, the magic, magic journey's way. way. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Stop. <laughs> mm, <laughs> oh my gosh. That is probably the best tasting pretzel I've ever had here at Wetzel's Pretzel. This has to be an annual thing because that is delicious. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. It's a chewy pretzel. It tastes a lot like a cinnamon bun. That's what it tastes like a lot. And it's just, it just falls apart in your mouth. It melts away. You get the taste of chocolate. You get that dulce de leche, which is kind of like a caramel. It's very, very nice and it really blends together. If you want to try something that's really good, this is the top pick of the day. The Wetzel Pretzels, chocolate of pretzel <laughs> here at Wetzel's Pretzels. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, that was so guys, much food. We have so much food, so many <laughs> cute treats. Yeah. And like live music, like we're hearing right now. Yeah, so it's if so you guys beautiful. are coming to Disneyland, come and check out the Valentine's food. Come and check out Downtown Celebrate Disney. Soulfully. Yeah, yes. because they have a lot of great stuff too. They have some great musicians, they have some great arts. And I wish they had more food, but I maybe know. next time. Next time. Disney, what you doing? Yeah, you need to bring in some more food, Disney. We just want to say we love you guys. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for watching all our videos yes. and thank you for all the great comments. Don't forget to leave a like. But we'll see you guys here next time on the wonderful world of food. Bye!